Welcome back to Search the Nerd. Hey, look, Whitney's back. Yay! Oh. Oh. What? Oh. What was that? <laughs> Probably has something to do with that weird thing that happened a few weeks ago. That should be paying off soon. Nerd news! Kicking it off with the news we completely missed yesterday, Snack Snyder tweeted this photo of Batman from the set of Justice League. Cool. <laughs> what does it all mean? Zach labeled it as Batman's tactical suit, but what's that and why does it look familiar? Many people are speculating that it might be his new permanent suit, at least for the time being. I, for one, love this idea. Love me some Dark Knight Returns homages. Let's move away from that for a second, you feel me? I feel you, dog. Heard it through the grapevine, this suit will interact with his bat vehicles, which could be fun. Like how my elbow interacts with an armrest, or is he gonna be like controlling and piloting the bat plane from his bicep pad? Hopefully both. This will probably be one of many suits in the film. <gasps> Hooray! Hooray! We're looking at an updated cowl, some goggles, new breastplates, and a logo, and dem abs, though. Dem abs. You'll also notice a little more armor on the gauntlets. Nice touch. The costume looks like a cross between a few popular costumes. Specifically, the cowl is extremely similar to Night Owl from Watchmen, especially when you throw in those square lens goggles right there. Mm -hmm. Also, one website cited another Batman suit. I'm gonna go ahead and extinguish this uh, connection real quick. Please. They're saying that the costume designers could have pulled from the Nazi Batman costume from Earth 10, and as interesting as that story was, let's Ooh. try to steer our DC movies away from the dark side, please, for the love of God. I'm so done with DC being dark and gritty. Nazi, he can't be a Nazi. <sighs> Captain America, maybe could be a Nazi. That's fine with me. Batman, no. <laughs> you did not see that coming? What? You did not see that coming. Oh, fuck you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, 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 nah. Right, moving on down, the breastplate and logo seem to be based on the Arkham video games costumes. Not bad. Oh, I like me some Arkham. One last observation. Remember that Deathstroke tease we got a few weeks ago? Why, yes, of course I do. <gasps> Weird. <laughs> Probably not important. Anyway, that background during the Deathstroke clip looks awfully like the background of this Batman photo. Ooh, Ooh. conspiracy. We'll be seeing our boy Deathstroke popping up in the Justice League. Possibly. Let us know your theories down below. More Batman news. Batman Telltale Episode 2 nabbed itself a trailer. And the title for this next installment of the five-part series, The Children of Arkham. Ooh, Ooh spoopy. I love that these games focus more on the man rather than the bat and how he deals with crime and super criminals in the town that he loves. <laughs> Best part of this trailer, we got glimpses of Telltale's versions of what we assume to be Blockbuster, Joe Chill, and Pangan. Love a look at that Pangan. Look at the little Pangan. Oh, what a cute and these rascals going by the name of the Children of Arkham. Who could they be? Also, could the Wayne family be tied to the organized crime of Gotham? Dun, 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 dun. Dun. It's a fan favorite storyline that DC likes to dabble with from time to time, so let's see how it affects Bruce Wayne on September 20th. That's the digital release date. If you happen to nab the copy of episode one in disc form, you should be able to have access to a season pass that allows you to download future installments. Mm. If not, just go to Steam. Well, we're definitely gonna be checking out, but let us know what your thoughts are on episode one, two, and all the rest of the numbers down below. Keeping up with the DC hype train. Doot, doot. It looks like the Margot Robbie Harley Quinn spinoff we heard about a few months ago is actually happening. The Hollywood Reporter confirmed that Margot's own production company, Lucky Chap Entertainment, will be helming the project. And it looks like it won't be a solo movie either. The movie promises to deliver not just one iconic DC lady, but many. Does that mean I'm finally gonna get the Gotham City Sirens versus Birds of Prey movie I've always dreamed of? Yes, like, yes. A million times, yes. But recast Catwoman. Cass Whitney should be a great Catwoman. Me? Sam, I'm so flattered that you'd say that. Thanks, uh, well, uh, just saying what you wrote in this part of the script, but sure, I'll stick by it. <laughs> so who do you think will be in the new Harley Quinn movie? Let us know down below. Please, Poison Ivy, please. Definitely Poison Ivy. Uma Thurman again, though. Yes, of course. <laughs> and moving on to our last non-DC related news, there was a new trailer release for Disney's Moana. It's got a peek into the rock and newcomer Auli... I, 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 God, I, I am not the person to ask how to say this Auli thing. It's got a little peek into The Rock and newcomer Auli'i Cravalho's chemistry, a wacky pet chicken, and a visit to something called the Realm of Monsters. That's where I live. Of course you do. Don't forget, we also got a little clip of an original song from Hamilton composer Lin-Manuel Miranda. Man, everybody loves that guy. Mm -hmm. Me included. Almost as much as everybody loves The Rock. Yeah. I love him too. The movie hits theaters November 23rd, making it a perfect movie to go see with your family when you visit for Thanksgiving, <laughs> because you want to spend as little time discussing politics with your uncle as possible. 
possible. Oh boy, it's do true. I feel that. It's true, I feel it hard. That's why I wrote it down. But that's it from us. And hey, make sure to like this video, share, and subscribe. And hey! <laughs> <laughs> While you're on your computer or phone, you should go check out Eve Mattresses. Eve believes in the perfect start. That's why they spent four years perfecting a premium memory foam mattress, which they sell direct to you online at a third of the price of traditional stores. A third. That's so much! A third. That's all, there's only three thirds! No, there's only three of them, and you lost one. These beds feature next generation memory foam that is layered with a patented comfort layer, which gives your body contouring comfort and support whilst keeping you cool and just the right amount of bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce,